back to my channel and today we are back with another hair tutorial now I just want to start off by showing you guys a little technique that I've learned I'm not sure if a lot of people know about it which I'm pretty sure they might I'm not sure but um besides the fact I learned a new technique that actually gives you more of a scalp effect now everybody always says oh bleach your nose bleach your nose blah 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 if you want it to look natural bleach your nose but they don't really tell you how what like what certain ways can really affect certain things so say you do the spread method or whatever the case may be and you cover your um your knots with the bleach and everything but they tell you not to be so heavy handed so you really try to be very light handed and spread it across here's the thing although you still might bleach your knots there's going to be a lot of knots that's still black so i'm not sure if you ever noticed that but if you do do this method a lot take the time and actually really reevaluate it after you bleach it and then you might see a lot of black knots so when i was doing this i always thought why is there still black knots like what am i doing wrong so i started to do this technique where i would lay it flat on some aluminum foil or like the package it comes in the plastic and i would just lightly press into it now i think it would be kind of better if you separated these sections into maybe four braids because you don't want to smush the hair so bad that it's bleeding through the actual hair but you want to make sure it's fully covering the knots like i mean fully covering the knots so I like to do this and I found that when I do this it helps so much more and it gives more of a scalp effect I don't know what the exact you know whole thing is called the whole little whatever but I just find a major 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 difference and when I actually lay it down flat and press it out so I mean press it in sorry so I think that is very 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 helpful I also toned my knots after the after I'm showing you guys right now but so this is just after bleaching do you guys see that hold on let's get a close-up let's get a close-up hold on do y'all see that do you see it like look look at it it looks freaking amazing you don't see any black knots oh child look good look good i know right so yeah this is just something that really helped me and this is only after bleaching Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are back with another bathroom video. Um, I really like my whole bathroom setup, so I do want to do a lot of videos in here, but this ventilation system is so annoying. Like, it's super annoying, so I just feel like it's like mad loud, and then I gotta speak mad loud. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. If y'all don't mind it, I don't really care. So, anyways, we're gonna jump straight into this video. So, today we are featuring medulla hair. And off camera, I went and I customized it, I plucked it, and um, everything like that. I didn't add the elastic band and I didn't tint the lace yet. So, all I really did was construct the wig and um, pluck it and everything like that. So, let me just show y'all what it's looking like before so this is what the hairline looks like right now i also hot combed the edges of the front too so all of this stuff is like super fast it was actually very straight before i put it in that little thing which i get the point very customized the whole hairline beautifully customized and when i customize my units let me try to see if i can straighten that out y'all can see that good 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 so most of my videos um well not let me not say most of my videos most of the time i mean most of the time when i customize my wigs i usually don't <clears throat> go all the way down on the sides sometimes i do just for like satisfaction reasons just like just to you know sometimes I, I can be a perfectionist so that's kind of a habit at a certain point in time um so yeah anyways let me just get straight to these tips so i already kind of told you guys how um how i customized the front tool and i hope that helped a little bit i'm like still learning as i go so um hopefully those little tips about how i bleach my knots now helped you or whatever the case may be if you don't know what this is and if you don't watch my videos this is the beyond the zone turn up the heat frizz spray by um yeah beyond its own i just said that um i like to spray this a few times throughout the hair it does not weigh the hair down it does not make the hair look oily depending on how much you put i kind of eyeball it it's nothing specific 
to be honest, but that's just what I do. Um, I didn't think it was necessary. I might have to use a different comb. I didn't think it was necessary to pluck on camera. I feel like I always do plucking videos, always do bleaching videos. The only reason that I feel like I might give y'all another plucking video is because my techniques are changing, so I want y'all to evolve with me. As far as the bleaching technique, that's definitely something new for me. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. And, ooh, I swear the dude has probably the best right here. Out of all the AliExpress brands, I think they have the best. I'm not even about to sit here and say it just because it's in a video. Y'all yeah, know I keep it above with y'all all the time. I really, because this is body rape here, and it got mad straight. I'm just doing a second pass. This is a very thick section. So, I'm just showing y'all that. But, other than that, you guys pretty much know my full process of everything. Also, this is going to be kind of very sporadic. It's going to be all over the place. I'm just going to be naming things that come to mind. Um, I did not fully organize this video because I just like when I talk sometimes. Sometimes I complain and sometimes I'm just like, let me just talk to y'all. I feel like I don't do too many videos where I actually talk to y'all. So, I just wanted to do that for a change. Um, yeah, I just feel like... I'm going to really be so annoyed if I edit this video and that thing is too loud. It's going to piss me off. I'm going to be so mad. So mad. I'm going to be so mad. Also, another tip that I learned, so to it, of course, is you know how when you fly in here and it gets all these flyaways where you can't, obviously you can't see it, um, but it gets a lot of flyaways. And I found that a tip to have it looking so sleek, oh my god, is to flat iron it, right? And literally lay it across a flat surface for a few. Probably like, usually when I do it, it's probably overnight. You probably don't have to do it for that long, but this is just what I do. You can do it overnight, you can do it probably 20, 30 minutes. I'm not sure how long it takes or the process. I just always get the results, so this is why I'm suggesting it to you guys. Lay it across a flat surface, and I guess all the hair like comes down and just like falls into place. When you shake it and lift it, look, it's gonna be so sleek. There's gonna be little to no flyaways. Little to none. Little to none. So. That's a good tip that I learned when working with when you want the um, bone uh, when you want your hair to be bone straight. That's a good tip that I use. Um, also, okay, I told you guys about what else did I really have to type? I want to also start constructing my wigs via sewing machine. I want to stop my shit up. I mean, I don't really. I don't know, I'm so used to the traditional way because it works for me, but I'm always open to trying new things, so I think that's probably going to be next on my list, you know, with some future units that I may do, because I don't know, I just want to be more open, I don't want to stick to the usual, that's boring, I hate sticking to the same thing for too long, it's very boring, so I think I'm going to kind of switch it up. And do one of those. I do want to speed up because I do want to catch a nice picture in the sunlight. The sun sets at like 7:30, and I need to catch that. Hello. I'm always missing stuff, always being late for stuff. Y'all are my witness. Every time I film a video, I'm late for something. I'm late for my own damn photo shoot in my house. Ridiculous. But yeah, that's the only one next on my list. You know, as far as constructing wings and stuff like that. Also, if y'all watching this, because I hopefully y'all not too bored yet, because all I'm doing is flat iron in here. I might speed it up when I do the next side. I just kind of wanted to talk to y'all. I'm going to be doing, there was an incident with my neon green hair video with the vendors and stuff, the company. I'm trying to work it out so I can release that video for y'all, but if things don't work out, I cannot release that video. It's edited and everything, but they... They blew minds. 
I'm gonna tell y'all that another time. Well, actually, I don't have to tell y'all that another time. Basically, what happened with that company was they didn't want me to be honest, and that kind of pissed me off because it's like I'm not about to sit here and fabricate or lie to y'all about um about no hair. I'm not doing it. I just don't think it's worth it. I really don't. And I'm not about to say, oh my god. This hair is so good, like, you know, whatever. And it's really not, it's really shining, especially blonde hair, because it's hard to find some real good blonde hair. Like, and I'm not gonna sing a lot of y'all. So they be want, wanted me to take out words and stuff. And I was like, no. Like, you're gonna pay me though, because I did all this work, but I'm not, no. So, you know, after that happened, we exchanged some words, whatever. And now the video is not up, but I, I worked really hard on that video and I think you guys really like that video. So, um, I re-edited the video to at least get the approval, because if, if I don't, if I post a video without the approval, I can get sued for a lot of money, vice versa. And I ain't trying to get sued out here. So, with that being said, <clears throat> Oh, I'm not trying to get sued. So with that being said, I did edit some parts. If you watch the video, I did edit some parts out. But as far as the tutorial and the color inspiration, I did feel like I displayed that in a good way. So it's not really a hair review, it's a hair tutorial. And that's another thing that I wanted to talk about. I'm actually happy I just said that because now, I don't really, unless I really feel like I have to or I want to, I'm really not going to be doing hair tutorial, uh, reviews anymore. I just feel like it's kind of boring. Like, I like doing styles. I like styling. I like doing hair like that. I don't like, oh, this hair sheds. Oh, it doesn't shed. Oh, it's so sleek. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, if I just say it in the video, like, quick, whatever, like, a quick minute or a couple of seconds, and I'm like, raving about the hair that's fine but i'm not about to keep rep rep uh, I repetitive. i'm just saying everything at this point repetitively <clears throat> saying that about all these hair companies because i feel like they're always saying really hey aliexpress like so that's really how i feel so i'm just gonna be doing hair tutorials i don't need no reviews once again unless i really feel like i want to or it's necessary to, then I will do that. But other than that, don't look forward to no hair tutorials. I mean, hair reviews. Look forward to some hair tutorials. Something fun, something that we can switch up so we don't get bored with each other. And you know, things of that sort. So, that's pretty much how I feel about that. But um, I think I pretty much, I'm just yapping at this point. I think I got my point across, so. Um, I'm just gonna flat iron the rest of this here, and then I'm okay. So now that my makeup is done, I already did my bowl cap before I did my makeup. Um, now I'm gonna be using my lace tint. Everybody knows I use the same lace tint all the time. Everybody, I always get comments saying, What lace tint is that? Which one do you use? Where you get from? And I always do one of these. And people just still be asking. So, for the people who are not listening about the lace tint, listen now. Right now would be a good time to start listening, honey. True match. It's a little dirty. Lace conceal in the shade bronze. You can purchase this from at lace by Lex on Instagram. Lace underscore by underscore Lex. I'm not sponsored. I just really like this um, lace tint. So let's just tint the damn lace.
so where I messed up was I customized it and I pressed out the edges before I tinted the lace. So now I'm gonna have to go back into the um, I'm gonna have to go back into the wig and just repress out the edges right here. I don't know if you can really see it. I still have the thing under. I didn't cut it. So I'm gonna cut it now. I gotta get a new, I gotta, I'm gonna to, I think I'm gonna order a new um wig wigs uh head thing because this one got stuff falling out from inside and it's giving me the heat to be these. It looks very nasty and I, I just don't like the way it looks. It freaks me out so bad. So I'm, I think I'm gonna order a new one tonight. It's just like really, really bothering me. It's not even my head shape either. I got a size 22. My head is fully a size 21. I have a little head in case y'all didn't notice. So let me just. Oh my god. I'm, I'm about to show y'all right now what this thing looks like. Let me just snip, snip. See, it's falling all on my wig. Ew. Ooh, and I just cut off. <laughs> I mean, be careful why you just said this because I just cut that whole chunk off. It's, ooh, it's not too noticeable, but just be careful. I'm not gonna mind you better though. I just was being lazy. But um look at this. Let me zoom in. That looks disgusting and it has stuff coming like wood ill. It's so nasty because it reminds me of maggots. Like it reminds me of a lot of maggots. Ew. Like I don't know. Do I think one? I might have a phobia. I don't know what's going on, but it's just it gives me the heebie jeebies. A hot comb of your choice. It really don't have to be no super expensive hot comb. I swear they really all serve the same purpose except for the kitchen top hot combs. Those hot combs get hot. Those ain't no joke. I used to get those. Like my brother used to use it on me when I was little. And the steam for that. Ooh, comb just had me. Ooh, grandma burn. She like get in, burn. It's the steam. Like, it's super annoying. But I like to use the electric ones. I don't know, personal preference. I'm not, and I have an electric stove. I don't have like a gas stove, so I can't do it if I wanted to. But I just prefer this. I got this from Walmart probably like last year or something like that. And it was like $20, I don't know, cheap, but it worked. So I'm gonna just press out. And I hate when people be trying to, I like, I understand the coin purpose. Which, they be trying to show y'all these hot combs. Don't get me wrong, it's okay to upgrade your nice new stuff, whatever. But they be really trying to down talk these little cheap, you know, hair store, Walmart hot combs. Like, they ain't good. So, most of you probably see me do it already, but I'm just re-pressing up these edges. Re-pressing up these edges. And if, mmm, shut up. I was also thinking about doing a giveaway for the people who really support me and watch my videos and stuff like that. Sorry, I can't even see a movie here talking. That's just what it looks like. Because I want to know who's really watching. So, I want to know if somebody can answer in the comments. If you really, if you really fuck with me. Let me know why do I press out the edges of the wig before I put it on. Let's see who really pay attention. And let me see. Should I? Let me see. Whoever gets it right first gets a shout out on my Instagram. And I don't have too many followers. I only have like 20... So 28,000? I don't know. Or 26.8 or 28.6. Something like that. Or five. I don't know. But I 
I'll give you a free shout out. So, if you really pay attention, write in the comments why this is very important and a necessity for a flawless install. This is giving Beyonce no part. Alright, so I feel like I gave y'all a few good tips. I know I'm just coming on here looking all crazy. But um, the video to this look should be up already. So if you want to see a little preview, which I'm going to put right here. And um, this is basically how the outcome looked. And I'm so, 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 so pleased with the way this came out. Like, this is just so beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoy my little tips or whatever if y'all want me to do a formal video where i actually sit down and talk about it i could do that too but i just felt like i could tell y'all just a little bit that's on my mind or whatever the case may be about hair or whatever the case and yeah so thank you guys for watching this video and i'm gonna definitely see you on my next y'all can tell i love y'all because look how i'm coming on youtube like this is gonna help you bye y'all Alright, so I know y'all probably thought it was over. It ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. I decided to add in my installation process. I thought that would be, I don't know. I just thought it would be more convenient. So I'm just like, yeah, let me just throw this in there. So I hope y'all enjoyed the fact that I love, you know, did that or whatever. And yeah, now y'all gonna enjoy the rest of the video.
fell in love with the no car, no baby here. Look, I got going on over here. Like, seriously, you cannot tell me this isn't my hair. Honestly. You cannot tell me this isn't my hair. Hair cool. But yeah, so this, I've realized that this is going to be my first style. Because I'm going to style this in two ways. So this is gonna be my first style with the hair, and then tomorrow I'm gonna um, do another hairstyle. One style that y'all been really, really, really fainting for. So I'm gonna make sure I deliver and I give that to y'all. So if y'all like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if I didn't say already, this is a 20 inch front tool. 326 inch bundles, y'all know that's my favorite, or 328, 220, y'all know I love my long hair. I'm gonna switch it up eventually, but alright. So, that's what that is, and since I told you guys already, this is Medulla hair. Y'all know they're one of my favorites, because they just, just, I don't know. Just look at the hair, I don't know. Y'all probably like, I can't even really see the hair. This, this is what the hair looks like. Look, sorry, this tag is so tacky. I've been on live, I've been just doing everything in this hair so far. So, I'm gonna make sure I take some pictures for y'all. And I can't wait to see what I create with the next. So, I'll see y'all on YouTube. Bye, guys.